All right, with that being said, I want to move on to my favorite part of the show, the part of the show I usually do this for, uh, and that is, of course, gun talk. And today I want to talk about Beretta 9296 firearms, whichever one you have. People know I love them. People know I carry them. People know they're my favorite semi-automatic guns, so they're often asking me, hey, what modifications do I need to do to a stock Beretta to make it the perfect Beretta, especially for carry? Well, there's a few things I always recommend people do. And it's not going to be a lot of the things some people would think. A lot of people would say, uh, think I'd say, change the sights to better sights or, you know, change the safety to a safety decocker. Those things are preference, whether you want to do them or not. Do you want different grips? Do you want better grips, tackier grips, less tacky grips, whatever? Those are all preferences. Those are things you choose. But there are certain things to the gun I think everyone should do if they want the gun to operate optimally. Now, one of the first things I'll say is that there's really three changes, but there's actually four, but I'm going to say there's three because the first one, which I don't really count, is make sure your gun has a steel trigger. Depending on what model you have, you'll either have a steel trigger or a stainless steel trigger or a polymer and steel trigger. You don't want the polymer and steel trigger. I don't care about the polymer coated parts for other things, but the trigger needs to be all metal. So that's one thing you want to make sure your gun has before you do the other upgrades. And the reason for that is because one of the upgrades that I like requires the metal trigger. Now you can just get a stock metal trigger off eBay for like five bucks, or you can get the Wilson Combat Short Reach Trigger, which I do believe runs around $29. You know, it's anywhere between 27 and 30 bucks. You can get that one if you want. I do recommend that one. But whatever trigger you get, make sure it's an all-metal trigger. And then you can move on to the three major changes you need to do to the gun. Now, the first one is the trigger spring. And that's why I want you to have a metal trigger. I recommend the Wilson Combat Replacement Trigger Spring. This is not just a little coiled spring like the one that comes in your gun. It's actually a little plunger and spring system that actually just replaces that little spring. But it makes for a much smoother trigger return, a much smoother trigger operation. It really is worth the upgrade. So that's the number one thing I say change. The number one thing on the list. These are all equal uh, value. Uh, or actually, they're not equal value. This one is probably not as equal value as some of the other things I'm going to mention. But it's number one on the list. You know what I mean. All right, now the second thing that I think is necessary to make your Beretta as good as it can be is to change the hammer spring. Now, traditionally, most models of uh, Beretta came with a 20-pound hammer spring. Then the D-spring got really popular, which was a 16-pound hammer spring. And now a lot of guns come stock with the 16-pound hammer spring. But whether you have the 20 or the 16, I'm going to say change it. Now, what I say change it to is get yourself a Langdon Tactical Hammer Spring, a 12-pound or 13-pound hammer spring. That will make all the difference in your gun. It will make the trigger so much better, especially when you pair it with that Wilson Combat Trigger Spring replacement. It makes the gun smoother, lighter, crisper, cleaner. It's just better overall. Now, the reason I say 12 or 13 pound, I say 12 pounds if you shoot all domestic ammo. You're not going to have a problem with light uh, primer strikes with a 12 pound spring if you shoot all domestic ammo. If you shoot some foreign ammos, go to a 13 pound spring. Now, if you find yourself shooting really hard NATO primers, you're probably going to have to go up to a 14 pound spring. But even the 14 pound spring is going to make quite a bit of difference, but not as much difference as the 12 pound spring does. The 12 pound spring in the gun is awesome, but the only thing I do say is make sure you're shooting only domestic ammo if you go with the 12 pound spring. And if you do shoot just domestic ammo, you'll be glad you switched out to that spring. Or if you shoot foreign ammo, the 13, like I said, is almost as good, but a little more reliable with those foreign primers. All right, now the third and final thing I say to do, or fourth, depending on how you look at it, is something I tell people to do if you want your gun to be the absolute best it can possibly be for self-defense, range shooting, whatever, and that is to change the trigger bar. Berettas have that famous external trigger bar, so it's really easy to do. Get yourself a Langdon Tactical Optimized Performance Trigger Bar and replace the stock trigger bar you have. That makes a huge difference. It changes the reset of the gun to where it's just much cleaner, faster, shorter, etc. 
Doesn't change trigger weight at all, but it just changes how the trigger operates, how it resets, and it's really a big change and it makes such a huge difference. Now, if you look at the price of these things, that hammer spring is going to usually run you about $8. Uh, a Wilson Combat trigger spring runs about $20, sometimes a little less. And the optimized trigger bar is going to be the biggest investment at about $65 to $70. So if you do all these changes, if you change everything on the gun, you're probably looking at, depending on where you get your parts, how you get your parts, what kind of trigger you go with, you're looking at anywhere between $100 and $130. I've done it for both price ranges, depending on where I got my parts, when I got my parts, if I got them used, new, whatever. But for about 130 bucks, you can have the best Beretta you could possibly have, period, out there. Uh, you could also go the extra mile if you wanted and get the Langdon Tactical Trigger Job in a bag. That's a really nice thing. Uh, really makes your gun pretty much as good as it can be. But like I say, if you just do these three or sort of four things to your gun, like I say, and spend like $100, $130, you will have the best Beretta you can possibly have. And then you can work on things like sights, grips, whether you want it to be a G-type, etc. All those preference things, you can do that because that's just icing on the cake once you do those changes that make the Beretta the best it can be.